making this video for uh, to ask some questions, uh, primarily of my friend and brother, Pastor Dow, but also for any of y'all out there that are block masons. Now, as with any video, when I ask advice, I know y'all are meaning well, but I get advice all over the board, and I'm really not interested in your advice if you are not a block mason. So if you work with concrete block, I want to hear what you have to say. If you don't, I don't value your opinion on this because you don't know any more than I do, all right? And so if, other than Pastor Dow, I already know his background, he's been working with it for a while. If you are a block mason, just put that in your comment, please. You know, I've been working with block for 20 years and, and then tell me what you think, please. All right, I'll take the camera. Thank you, sweetie. So I have these foundations here <clears throat> and they are 30 by 30 feet. They've been here a while. Uh, a friend of mine came by and he told me that I ought to top them with treated two by uh, just to keep water and, and garbage out of them. And so I did. Some of the cores are filled, but certainly not many. Um, and we had an earthquake recently, and I don't know if that contributed to the problem I'm going to show you or if it was water, or foundation settling, or what. But check this out. Can you see that? This was going to be an access way to the crawl space. Now look at this. Let me see if I can do this with the camera. That moves. And then let's come around this corner. Can you see that? Oh, let me come back here because I thought this crack was pretty big. See the difference there? And that's separated even though I have it bolted there and there. Sorry it's so windy. And then, so that's this corner of this foundation. Now let's walk over here. And I know I could cut this video, but editing takes me a long time and more electricity than I have right now because it's a cloudy day. <clears throat> Here's another foundation that's almost exactly the same. And it's higher. Look where it cracked. See this? I can't move this up. Oh, yes, I can. That moves a little bit. And then it comes down through there. And then it's also right here. All the way down. And then we can go around the corner. Oh yeah, right there. Let's see if I can get through these blackberries. Can you see that right there? Let me come around this way. I didn't clean this part out yet. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Can you see that crack running down there? That's a pretty wide one. And then... Ugh, that board worked a little bit. The uh, bolts, excuse me, the bolts were put in kind of funny when they were put in. And then do we have any cracking over here? Not really. So, you can see over there on, on the backs, maybe you can't, but I showed you that already, that window, the cracking over there. These are the foundations. What should I do with them? That's my question to you people who actually understand and have worked with, have hands-on experience with block. There's a little bit of cracking on that one. Is this bulldozer time? Is this hiring the people to come in with the little hammers, take these blocks apart, chip off the concrete and save them? Is this, oh heck no, you can fix that Pastor Joe do this, that, and the other thing, and you can still build on them. Would you build a house on this? 
when this is what you're starting out with, what would you do with it? That's what I want to know. I want heartfelt advice. I'd like you to actually think about it, please. Um, you know, not just throw something off the top of your head. But like, hey, PJ, this is what I would do. And then tell me. And I will appreciate it. And again, I know despite me saying this, that people who don't have a clue what they're talking about <laughs> are going to weigh in on this and say, oh, what you ought to do is this, that, and the other thing. And so for those of you who are block masons, and I'm not even sure if I'm using the right term, but I think I am, uh, please just let me know that you are, you know, tell me in your comment, I've been doing this for whatever. And if you're on any uh, forums for professionals such as yourself, and you could share this video with them so that more people could weigh in, um, I would appreciate it. Because I really want to do the right thing, you know what I mean? Um, certainly don't want to build on it if that would be folly we read in the word that you know you need a good foundation a man who builds his house on sand versus rock and all of that the footers here uh the freeze line it's you put your foot at least 18 inches or down at least two feet concrete footer um with rebar in it that kind of thing but there that's my uh conundrum my predicament. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you out there.